Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Maryland's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, home of the Wolverines, holds nearly 110,000 fans. And now let's get down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Michigan is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Weaver takes it at the four, and he's taken down at the 29. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. That one's incomplete. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Pressure coming. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third and long now after the sack. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He lets it fly, and it's picked off. And he's taken down around the 47-yard line. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From their own 47-yard line. First down. He scrambles. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's at the 30. He's taken down around the 20-yard line. He started to run and saw that the field ahead of him was wide open. That's a huge play. See now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Three down, three down. Watch 19, watch 19. Hey. Hey. He dives and he got it. And he's tackled at the five yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown.
These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Update time from the top 25. We've got a tight one going on here. The Wildcats have the lead, 13-7. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Hines, ready to kick. Weaver takes it from the six. He's out to the 30. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Michigan's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. And down he goes at the 30. to be in against this crowd in this stadium. He's going to air it long. Tackle at the 26. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big-time game. getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. He's going to try and scramble. He gets sacked on the play. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another one and keep this drive going. The crowd really making it difficult. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. He gets it up, and it is good. Johnson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. At the 30. Oh, it's the kicker that comes up with a tackle. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Let's go, let's go. Michigan is up four. Tackled after decent pickup. That makes it seven and six. From their own 44-yard line, second down. They'll bring him down right around the 44-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Larry, Larry, Larry. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Mike 53. Mike 53. He 
He's on the run. He dives, and he'll be marked down. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. Scrambling around. Fumble, loose ball. Picks up the fumble. Diving for extra yardage. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 26. Short pass, middle of the field. Tackle made around the 31-yard line. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down around the 42-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, still like the 48. Right now, let's go. Next 13. Next 13. He fights forward to about the 43. That brings up second and nine. He's tackled at the 45. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Looks for the tight end, but they can't hook up. From the 45-yard line, second down. Complete big loss. A tight, low scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7 3, Michigan. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Going long. And he tackles him hard at the 18. That's a good First down. Hey, D-line, let's get in there. Let's get in there now. Hey, look, 48. Hey, come on, Mike, get 48. Right there, let's go. Now he tries to buy some time. The 10. And they make the stop around the 7-yard line. That's good for him. On the pass, touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice 10-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Maryland ready to kick this one off. Walker from the two. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. That brings up 
second and nine. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. White gains about five yards on the scramble out of the pocket. Six-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled at the 44. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. scramble and down he goes at the 37 good coverage by the defense but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards they need about three yards to get the first here on second down little handoff runs outside for a nice game the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. He's on the run. Tackle right around the 20. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. The Wolverines taking their first time out of the half. From the 19-yard line, it's second down. tries to buy some time. It's a fumble. And they fall on the loose ball. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Line it up for the field goal. Michigan is looking to tie things up. Kicks away. And the field goal is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, time to get you up to date on what's going on in the top 25. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Nebraska, they deliver the perfect connection. Absolutely on the same page for the touchdown. The Cornhuskers lead 24-20. We're tied at 10 in this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. 
This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They bring him down in the backfield. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling. Here's an opening, and he's level at the 30. So at the end of the half, and a 10-10 tie in this game. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast pace, up tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Heading into the third quarter now. Tie ball game as we're set to resume play. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Now he's scrambling. He's tackled in the open field. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 29. He has all day, but scrambles out. He's brought down in the open field. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Robinson is back awaiting the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He scrambled. Ball is loose, fumble. One of the wide receivers picks up the fumble. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. The offense is lucky to hang on to that one.
Second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Strike to the receiver. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. McMillan on the tackle at the 32-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Get to that quickly. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Barrington brings his down at the 26-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 14. They try the right side. He gets out to about the nine yard line. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. The Terrapins wide receiver down there on the sideline. Looks like he's warming up. Good to see that he might be able to get back in this game. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's check in on a pair of top 25 teams. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Nebraska, they run the ball with attitude. A ground and pound attack that results in a touchdown. Mosley's savvy in the passing game is something to behold. He is a maestro out there already with three touchdown passes. The Cornhuskers on top by three. Midway through the fourth quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. Back to the live action here. Johnson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. And he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. That's a beat of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. to go long and does. Doesn't get there. Maybe it was the intended receiver on the play. Third down now. They need to get it out to midfield. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they got him for a loss. That's a three yards on the play. That brings 
Cardinals at 4th and 11. Hines is the punter. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Maryland is up by three. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop around the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. three quarters now and still the defenses are shining the Terrapins with a three-point lead into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action the intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium He's hit and taken down. And some daylight. Gets out to around the 38. That's a deep 10 on the ball. That makes it first and 10. Dorsey sets up the play action, heading for the corner. He's at the 20. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Maryland holds a field goal lead. Nice run up the middle. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Flushed and they got it. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it sails to the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wildcats had a spot in the top 20. That is in jeopardy after this performance. There was never any room to breathe in this game. And for Mosley, a very good day. He cracked the 250-yard mark. The Cornhuskers win it by three. All right, Reese, back to our game. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Walker has it at the five. And he's taken down at the 35. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. That is a loss of three yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and 14. 14. Hey. 
from their own 32-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down to the ground. Just under three to go in regulation. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. Tackle made at the 40 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Makes the catch, and look out. Tackle around the 50-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And he's tackled right away. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. Big opening. Runs outside for a nice game. About five yards on the quarterback keeper. Michigan will take their last time out. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. First down. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They'll give it off here. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a deep five on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. Offense. And they're looking to get two points here. Now he tries to buy some time. 
tries to get around the corner. And they won't get the two. Johnson, ready to kick. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Under a minute left in the game. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 42. The spike will stop the clock. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Bring him down for a sack on the play. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And the ball game's over. And our final score of this one, Maryland 22, Michigan 10. And the Wolverines. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.